Hey guys, I'm Miranda. And I'm Seth. And we're your main geeks. Today we have for you an epic FYE haul. Um, sadly, our FYE at our mall is going out of business. Yep. Um, the, it started probably like right before Christmas. Yeah. They announced that they were going out of business and they've had, you know, progressively better sales. Um, it started at like 20 or 30 percent off and we were like okay cool there's some decent sales yeah and and um and it went up to like 40 and 50 now things are like 60 to 90 60 to 90 percent off, off. Um, the store is getting smaller and smaller and um we've been back probably i don't know at least half a dozen times <laughs> probably six or seven <laughs> times there's um, um We've gotten some really great hauls out of there. Yeah, we've bought so. in um, a lot of vinyl from there. Um, as we've mentioned, some of our other vinyl, uh, vinyls, videos that um, <laughs> were just as big of vinyl collectors and um, records, vinyl records. Yeah, vinyl yeah. records and um, music fans as we are of like you know comics and the other you know collectibles. Definitely. And, we love music. <laughs> and, uh, you know, new vinyl is very, very pricey. It and is. It is. It's hard to buy new vinyl full retail. Um, we do. We go to a lot of used record shops. We, we look for a lot of that sort of thing. We buy plenty of new vinyl as well, but we try as hard as we can to look for deals. To get it on sale um, because, you know, it's not uncommon for a, a new vinyl to cost $40. Yeah. You know, you know a, a, a double LP vinyl. Um, where the gatefold packaging could be, you know, thirty-five, forty dollars. A single vinyl can be, a, you know, a normal um, length album could be, you know, anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars. So, mm. and, um, and that's expensive. just like yeah. a plain, you know, bare bones album. A lot of times, if they're the colored vinyl, they're yeah. they're more money or because if it's they're limited, they're more um, limited. Um, but we love music. We love supporting the artists and. And vinyl is a really cool format uh, to do that. Um, and it's, you know, because of its lack of portability, it allows you to sit and listen and appreciate the album, mm. not just the, the, you know, download the single. So it's it's a really cool way to appreciate it. It's a more artist, involved um, way of listening, but it's, you know, one that it's we... It's worth it. It's, it's worth, it's worth <laughs> it, and it's yeah. one that, you know, we really enjoy, like... We still, you know, now, we'll, we, you know, we still buy CDs. Like, we don't really like to buy a ton, you know, digitally just because we love the whole experience of, you know, yeah. getting the CD or, you know, record, opening it up, looking at all the packaging, the liner notes, the art, um, yeah. you know, we're both also very big art people, um, Seth the graphic designer, mm -hmm. so, you know, we really appreciate, um, appreciate that aspect art. of it too. I'm also a bass player in a band, so I appreciate the, that, you know, how hard bands try to put something out, uh, for people that, um, you know, was a lot of thought went into it and, um, you know, work and just, I know how hard it is to, you know, save the money to, to go out and do a record and play the shows and and try to make that happen so you know supporting the physical format mm. i believe is is a good way to keep that alive you know it is and and you know um the, the tons of times that we've gone there um to take advantage of the sale was to um mostly buy vinyl um mm. and then we went there um tonight and they actually like they had still been getting new stuff in. Yeah. And it was interesting for a while. We thought they might not have been going out of business, and it was just like a new business they, model. They just like, kept yeah, getting we're... new stuff. Yeah, so and... we're like, why would you get new stuff if you're going out of business? But anyway. But... And we went in there tonight, Yeah. Um, and all their clearance stuff is 90% off, and they had a ton of action figures and, like, awesome statues, and we're like, where did this come from? Like all the other times we've been yeah, there, this this stuff hasn't been around. So, so either they were hoarding stuff Maybe in the back have, room, or who knows? Or they got stuff from another store. But either way, um, we're not gonna question it. <laughs> we're not gonna question it because yeah. we got some really awesome stuff. Yeah. Um, Do you wanna? Yeah, I'll uh, yeah. get in here first. Show the people some stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> 
We got um this um it's a Batgirl from the um Batman Adventure series. It's they're fairly new. Um, let's see if I can get the glare off there. Uh, fairly new um series that's come out. Um, we got the Harley Quinn from this series. I don't know if you guys can see it back here. We got that from Derek, um, the Border Geek. Um, and Batgirl is one of my favorite characters. Um, I really love all the women of DC. Um, but Batgirl is one of my favorites. Cool it's a cool figure. And literally, guys, we got this for like a dollar fifty. That's crazy. They're originally like twenty two. Um, I can see it on the back. It was originally twenty four ninety nine. Yeah. And so uh, for like a dollar fifty, it's an absolute steal. I'm <laughs> like, I cannot leave this there. Yeah. Like. So. So that's um. Really neat. That's really neat. Okay. And from the Batman animated series, we have the Riddler. This is a pretty cool figure. He actually has like this shelf that has all the riddles, some of his like um, his like riddle toys on it that you can set up next to him. It's pretty sweet. And I think this series of toys came out fairly recently even it, though that it's it's from the Batman animated series which was which was a 90s series yeah um but it comes with like a ton of it says like 16 16 pieces yeah so i think like the harley one um they come with like different hands um the batgirl one has different hands and she has like it's cool i think some weapons in there um, again, like the Batgirl, the Riddler figure, we got for like a dollar fifty. Yeah. Um, originally twenty five dollars. It's like. So we're like, yep, we're getting this. How can <laughs> you not? I mean, these figures are great, and they're. It's actually genius. Like they come, um, with a little stand that clips around their waist that actually holds them up. Hmm. Um, and it clips into like a bigger base so you can actually um, display them a lot better yeah. we've had like a problem with some of the action figures that we've bought in that they just don't stand up they don't stand up because they're too top heavy and they end up getting broken yep so sometimes um, they're better off in the box but if they come with a cool stand like that that allows you to just set them up it's, right it's cool to display them it's it's you know it's nice to be able to put them all out. Um, right. It's like, you know, like these, they're not bad to leave in their packaging because the packaging is cool, but yeah. it's even cooler um, with some of these guys to be able to take them out. So those guys yeah. will definitely take out of their boxes because they do have a nice, solid, proper way to display yeah. them. Some people are like really meticulous about keeping everything in the box and nice and pristine. And that's cool. Especially if it's something really rare, mm. but I, I'm kind of a fan of taking things out of taking the box. Taking it out and enjoying I it. I want to buy something that I can't enjoy. So um, if I buy it, I kind of mm. want to take it out of the box and just enjoy it and, and you know, is the way it was intended to be Absolutely. checked out and appreciated. You know, I'm I'm the, you know, kind of big pop collector of the the household and you know a lot of ours as you guys can kind of see back here most of them are out of their boxes um there's a few on the top shelf here that um they're chase or, or they're vaulted they're vaulted yeah. um i don't think any of them are chases, chases but yeah, um you know like the sun of Ar sense of the anarchy ones are um a few of them are vaulted a few of them you know you just can't find yeah. anymore and then the Batgirl, um, 2015 Black Friday exclusive that came in the first mystery boxes mm -hmm. that, um, uh, GameStop did. Yeah. Um, you know, and there's a couple more back there that aren't in their boxes that probably won't leave their boxes, but for the most part, you know, I'll, I like to take everything out of their boxes and display it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, we got this. Um, we don't have any of these yet. They're the um, the vinyl idols, which is a uh, vinyl sugar, which is also a division of Funko. Um, 
We got the classic TV show Batgirl. The glare is really bad in here tonight, but you can, you know, kind of see her there. Um, she's from the, she's got the sparkly purple suit on. Um, we got her actually specifically to put in our, um, in, a trade box. in our trade box slash giveaway box. Um, just because I know, you know, someone would really enjoy this. And if I got something like this in a trade or a giveaway, like I would be really excited. Yeah, absolutely. And she honestly was like a dollar. Hmm. <laughs> It's crazy, yeah. It's crazy. It was originally like around twenty dollars, probably like eighteen or nineteen dollars, and for a dollar. So and so see, we were like, you know, you know what? Let's get that to put in our giveaway box, just because, like, I know it would really make someone excited to get something like that. Yeah. And it's like, how can you pass that up? Like the opportunity to give somebody something awesome like that, and it like literally didn't cost us anything. Yeah. Um, I also got this shirt there, this Spider Gwen oh, yeah. shirt. Right. Um, it's really sweet. Got it for a dollar ninety nine. Um, we also, up there. <laughs> also got a really sweet hailstorm shirt tonight, which isn't in the the haul, but um. Right. So last item we have here. We is, got one vinyl tonight. We got a vinyl. This is actually um, from the band Blackstone Cherry. They're a Kentucky based band and they have a, an album actually called uh, Kentucky this just came out um, about mid, mid last year um, take the plastic yeah um, so really cool band um, there isn't a ton of like new southern rock in the traditional style coming out and these guys are just a great guitar rock all around I mean all four musicians are amazing um, and this is, I believe, their fifth album? Fourth or fifth fourth, album. Fourth or fifth album. Um, as I said, I, I play bass in a local band. Um, and we actually um, are lucky enough to know these guys um, and keep in contact with these guys. Um, our band has actually played um, on, on a short tour with these guys. So really excited to get this. I think, I might be wrong, but I think this is the first time they've put out a vinyl. All their other stuff so. has come out on CD or obviously digital release. Um, they recently got a new label, like a more kind of independent label. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's neat. That's neat. Okay, well, check this out. So, um, and this was an FYE exclusive. Um, they put out a bunch of different colors of this vinyl. Um, and FYE actually got... If I can take it out. Oh, that's beautiful. Like the cherry red. The cherry red version of the vinyl. And so you can see it's sort of marbleized. Cool. It, it's really neat. That's, it's not just like solid red. It's it's kind of marbleized. That's beautiful. It's like we don't pretty have any. I don't any, think we have anything this color. I know. Nothing yeah. red like that. And I, it's 180 grams, so it's nice and heavy. Um, they tend to, the fidelity tends to be awesome on. 180 gram yeah oh, and, uh, and so along with it yeah go ahead here's some of the um that's an awesome uh the liner notes these are all the guys um in the band and then here's some of them while they were in the studio um recording this album if you dig just good old-fashioned rock and american rock and roll these guys are the band i mean you, they're yeah they're carrying the torch um for uh for rock bands out there and they're playing the states all summer um and then i believe in the fall they're, they're going back to uh, the uk and, and so. uh, europe so um just really killing it right now these guys are awesome really good dudes as well um personally and the record also came with this cool newspaper and i believe it's from their label it's it's pretty neat i've never seen anything like oh, this yeah, included in a record and it's got them. it's got an article about them um, in this little newspaper. It's called the Mascot Messenger, which mascots their label. Um, pretty dope. And it's all, it's about, um, I believe it features a bunch of their bands. Mm. So I'm excited to read this and check it out. Yeah, that's really cool. I love when they include unique stuff like that in with records. You know, mm. it's, that's the other thing. If you went, if you went and bought this 
download on iTunes. You wouldn't get any of get this. None of this. You wouldn't have any um, of this experience. It's it really and is an experience. You know, you own the music. It's it's kind of part of your collection now. It's not just something you downloaded and then you change your laptop and you forget to move your files over and then you don't have it anymore. Right, or you so know... It's something that I'm going to have on my shelf for a long time. That or you gonna, just... I'm going to spin it, you know. You know, you just download the single and you're like, yeah, that's good enough. And then it's like, you know, most of the times, like, a lot of times, like, the B-sides to a record are some of the best songs. Yeah. You know, and... Absolutely. This, got, this has some great songs on it. We actually saw them this summer um, on tour for this record, so yeah. this is special to have the al the vinyl version to remember that by. You know, ten years from now, I'll be like, oh, I remember. Oh yeah, I remember when we, when we saw, saw them, them that on summer. That. Yeah. So, well, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, thanks, guys. We hope um, you enjoyed this. Yeah, if you like this video, give us a you know give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Yep. Um, if you want to see more unboxing videos, subscribe to our channel. We've got a ton for you guys to watch, and we've got, um, you know, some more different stuff coming up. Um, you know, we want to do some more features on, like, the vinyl hauls that we do, too. Um, you know, talk about that, share that with you guys, because I know a lot of you guys that do collect um, also are big music fans. And, you know, you also, a lot of you, too, I know, collect vinyl. Um, like Johnny Teas, the hyper geek. Um, I know he's really big on vinyl yeah. and he does a lot of vinyl features. Yeah. Um, Jay and Mix, Jay and Mix from Unboxing Rocks, like they're real big fans of music and you know, Definitely. talk about their love for music too. Yeah. So, you know, we was, you know, we want to give you guys some different stuff and Definitely. you know, talk about with you guys some of the stuff that yeah. like we're passionate, you're passionate about, that you might not really, you know, get to share with other people. Definitely. It's one of those things where, you know, I think everyone has the things that they love and collect. Um, and I believe, you know, collectors in general are similar in that, you know, we all just really appreciate things. And, you know, these are the things we appreciate. And you might appreciate other things, but we we love to share um, that, that with you and just kind of create some community around that. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching, thanks guys. For watching. Hope you have a good night.